Cinema Reviews Now presents a film review of The Rebels of PT-218. Hello and welcome to our review. If you like this review and would like to see more content like this, please click on the like and subscribe button below. This would really help our channel. Thank you. This movie stars Eric Roberts, who starred in Runaway Train as Lieutenant William Snow. William Baldwin, who starred in Backdraft as General Bradley, and Danny Trejo, who starred in Replacement Killers as Seaman Orozco. Danny Trejo plays the role of the ship's cook. Being he is well over 70 years of age, he would certainly have long been retired from the Navy. Under the direction of Nick Lyon, who also directed D-Day, Battle of Omaha Beach. In September 9th, 1943, Operation Avalanche was initiated in which Allied forces attempted to land along the coast of Italy. However, in order to do this, the waters had to be cleared of U-boats and coastal guns. This film is a story about the SS Lawton B. Evans and how its crew managed to complete its mission to clear the Italian coast for the landing of Allied forces. I don't know why they titled this movie PT-218 when the movie is based on the SS Lawton B. Evans, which is a merchant ship, not a PT boat. This movie is a very noticeable low budget film with very low tech special effects. Some of the scenes depicting the Evans on water look like scenes from an old Godzilla movie, toy boats floating on the bathtub water. Apparently there was no attempt to make the film as realistic as possible especially when there were scenes where the German guns on the beachhead that were firing at the Evans had no German soldiers to man them. A lot of Navy action scenes were inaccurate. This was all probably because the credits did not include any U.S. Navy advisors who were involved in the making of the film. This film had poor acting and cinematography with a bunch of unknown actors, weak script and storyline that was very painstakingly slow to develop got my fill of the movie after 15 minutes of viewing time, but had to force myself to watch the rest, hoping for some redeeming factor in the film. Even the battle scenes were weak and boring, like most of the movie. A poorly made movie that can be described in two words. Skip it! By doing this review, we just saved you from wasting one hour and 28 minutes of your life. If you're in the mood for some naval war action movie, Check out Midway, released in 1976 with Charlton Heston. A remake of the original Midway, released in 2019 with Woody Harrelson and Dennis Quaid. Tora, 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 with E.G. Marshall and Jason Robards. And USS Indianapolis, with Nicolas Cage and Tom Sizemore. This film should win the Golden Raspberry Award for the year. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Golden Raspberry or Razzie Award, it honors the worst in cinematic underachievements. We give this movie one star. Out of five, it was simply awful. And now for the much anticipated bonus round. In the movie, it depicts a German submarine surfacing and firing on the SS Lawton B. Evans with deck guns. Although the movie is supposed to be based on a true story, this never happened in history. The SS Lawton B. Evans only had one encounter with a German submarine on March 10, 1943, where it was fired upon by a torpedo that was a dud and harmlessly bounced off. So why is this movie claiming to be based on a true story? The SS Lawton B. Evans survived the war and was scrapped in Baltimore Harbor in Maryland in 1960. 